So in this release, we've added the ability for you to sync your Timesheet app directly with QuickBooks Online, Zero or MYOB. You still have the option to sync with QuickBooks on the desktop using the Timer IIF and Activities IIF file exchange. But in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can connect and sync with QuickBooks Online. For this, you'll need to purchase a subscription to this service. Um, we initially offer a 30-day free trial, so you can try it out. So I'm just going to click on the monthly. So once you've successfully logged in, you'll then need to connect to your QuickBooks Online company. So that's signing in using your Intuit ID and password. Then select the company file you want to sync with. And authorize. So first off, you'll select which employee you want to use. You'll select the income account for service items. So once the initial sync is complete, you'll get a summary of what lists have been updated from QuickBooks Online to your device and what lists have been updated from your device to QuickBooks Online. So now if we start by selecting a time entry, we can choose custom from a list that have been downloaded from QuickBooks Online as well as the service items as well. So I've added in some time entries. Now I'm going to sync those back to QuickBooks Online. So when you're ready, you just tap on the sync button and tap sync again and you'll now see that those items have been synced the um, sync icons now disappeared so we can now check in QuickBooks online to see where those time entries have been so now I've logged into my QuickBooks online company file and I can see here that um, these time activities and time charges were added So the sync option allows for you to add customers in on the device on your iPhone or iPad and add those to QuickBooks Online as well. So any new customers that are added to QuickBooks Online or to the device are synced between the two as well as service items and classes.